this weekend is probably the most moist weekend in BC so far, so. It's a very good weekend for us to go visit Adam from the Moist Boys. It's only fitting. Like a normal rainy day here is like, like, like 30 mil of rain. In the last 24 hours, we got 130 mils of rain. Like it's, but they didn't cancel the ferries, so we're going to Vancouver Island. I think the weather over there is better. <laughs> yeah, we're stealing umbrellas. Dylan, uh, Dylan bought a five dollar trinket, and I haven't looked at it yet, but he told me I have to. I found it on Marketplace for five bucks. No, oh, dude, look at this little guy. There's more. Oh, there's wait, button. there's a button. <gasps> dude, he lights up. He's a flashlight. This is a really good five dollar trinket. Dude, sick, man. What am I supposed to do? Say Did no. <laughs> this is sick. The fart is back. Yeah, the fart is back. And we also took the 20s off because we realized that that was like not probably the best investment we've ever made. I don't know, it looked, it looked cool, but like. The alpha, the alpha currently just lives in my mom's driveway. 5.30 in the morning. I just got back from a wedding last night. I didn't like even sleep. I, I tried, but it didn't work. <laughs> this guy never sleeps. You didn't, you didn't have to tell us you didn't sleep. We already <laughs> Yeah, we can assume. Let's get the out of here. Let's get out of here, yeah. Be upset if I rear ended him. We're going to the airport exit because that's where Ben is. And then he's gonna sell a bumper. And then we're going to his house, famous house with the cool shop and the nice yard. It's a beautiful day. It's not even raining, it's just like misty as hell out. It's it looks perfect. very nice. Good fall day. As long as it doesn't start to pour on us. Take a shit? Yeah, dude. Hell yeah, Emergency. Dude. Emergency dude. exit. What's going on, man? Not much. How about you guys? You selling wheels? Yeah, I just sold some. I'm gonna start a new channel called Moist Boys 2. Moist, Moist Boys, Boys 2? Butch. <laughs> yeah. Moist Boys 2. This just... time it's serious. Yeah. <laughs> Out for revenge. What happened with these wheels? Yeah, I sold them for $35 and a hand job. And then. Dude put him on his car and then he sold Ben the car extraordinarily cheap because Ben's a bit of a scammer. Ben extorts people, offers them loans, 36% interest. Not bad. Yeah, so Ben has them now. Yeah, and then- They were off the saliva. Dude, the saliva looks so sad now. This is Ben Johnson lore. 
Oh, wait, you gotta start over here. This is an OG Ben. When we met Ben in high school, he had his L and his dad would follow him so he could drive the skyline to school. That was old, that was before Ben became cool and he had fucking dubs on this thing. Look at that, how absurd. Ben's X8, that's now Josh's on the fucking five lug long tramps. Ben's 8.6, 11 swap. My old E7 that I 4AG swap with side drop levers that I sold to Ben. Ben is as D21. There's a bunch of random trucks they bought. Ben's, Ben, this was your first car, right? The NX? Ben's first car. And Ben had this. I think he sold, that's he key, sold that to now. That's Key's sold car. Yeah, so he's, this was actually a, a crackhead's car in Victoria. We used to see it around. I once saw him sell an eight ball of crack out of it. Um, he lived in it. And then Ben got it, sold to Nelson. Nelson sold it to Keith. So the guy, the guy that sold Ben that R32, his name was Jumpe, and he lived on Vancouver Island because he's going to the university here, but he's from Japan. And when I was in Japan in 2023, I was in Nagoya at Wing 21, and I ran into this guy with an R32 GTR that spoke decent English, and him and I started chatting, and he started telling me that he uh, that lived in Canada for a while, and it turned out that he was the guy that owned that R32 and sold it to Ben. So halfway across the world, found a dude that knows one of my friends by accident just by going to a car shop. This one right here is the one that I found him on Instagram too. Was the, yeah. So Ben had the R31, he had the sore that Reed now has. There's Josh's old car again. A couple more E7s Ben's had. Ben's crown, that was Ben's peak Ben. That was his best car, calling it now. And uh, my car that Ben had before I got it. I took that picture. This is an X7 Ben had. This is our car before we painted it green, so we clearly improved it. That's the best two-tone for X6s, mm -hmm. I swear. Whoa. That's a good trinket. It that makes tornadoes. Stretcher, too. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> It's on, like yeah, it's got Mark IIs, that's sick. I, I was ready to see like this, this swirly like bullshit Hot Wheels wheels on it and I'm like, okay. Uh, yeah, if you're not a long time checkpoint viewer, you might not actually realize that the Budame, the, uh, the brown Mark II in the garage back there that belongs to Ben now, used to belong to Reed. It was actually one of his uh, earliest Rude Boy custom demo cars with a whole bunch of work done to it. And we've got a big back catalog of videos featuring that car when he owned it. And then also a couple of our recent videos where we've come to the island feature that car under Ben's ownership, which is super cool. But uh, Ben is thinking about selling the car, which um, is sad because we don't want to see it go, but it also makes sense because he's got to do some stuff with his life right now, which meant that this weekend was probably the last chance we'd ever have to get the Budame beside the Budaketsu, which is the uh, the Laurel that Reed brought over from Europe. And uh, those two cars, in our opinion, of this style are like grail cars and having the opportunity to shoot both of them together, especially with all the history that connects them, is a really cool opportunity. So that's why we prioritized doing this trip this weekend. We were like, you know what, there's some reasons to come over to the island, hang out with our friends, pick up some parts and stuff, but also the opportunity to take both of these cars out before the weather really turns for the winter and have one last chance to shoot them together. So that Reed, do you miss it? Even when they're yeah. running... I mean, Reed, I got rid of it for a good reason, but... Yeah. It's, uh, we were just... Uh, that's still like the coolest car I've ever had and like the most fun and like, I don't know. Yeah. This dog maxing this too. Look at that one in the bush. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You're nuts. Rabbits. <laughs>
dude, Reed's in his feels right now. <laughs> Don't look at it. Adam's house we're gonna steal trinkets but before that we're gonna go take these cars to a cool beach spot because we're on the island and that means there's water freaking everywhere and that's epic my that's brother was saying he could surf this holy shit that is so much bigger than i thought it's yeah, huge me and alex bought this uh 34 urus wing Eurus on marketplace wing. yeah we bought it on marketplace Whoa. dude it was like 60 bucks you know big this fucking thing is mount this up here on hold <laughs> on the on the brim that's awesome. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, it was. It was really cool. Well, chassis really? mount. It might work. To the far. It'll probably fit better than the G35. It probably will. You don't have to like fully reshape the bottom. All right, let's try it on your car. Hey, something. Look, look, look at the curvature of it. It like matches the quarters. It's pretty not bad. Pull it, pull it back. Dude, that's really fucking funny. That looks <laughs> fucking hilarious. You should do it. <laughs> <laughs> nice trucks. What are they? Thank you. Got this 2008 VDJ 79. Mm. 97 Troopy behind it. VDJ is cool because it has the turbo diesel V8. Sounds awesome. Yeah, got to get them through inspection and then drive them around. Put a turret on it. Yeah, mount a dish gun in the back. Shoot down some planes from the Land Cruiser. You know, Sunday activities. What is that bastard doing in here? All right, yeah, just go ahead and go all the way to the bottom. You're setting them up, buddy. Holy shit. Not me today. All right. Uh, I'm just watching. You. Awesome. Look at the carbon fiber shaft. How's the action though? Oh! Pretty fucking good umbrella. Mahogany handle. It's actually endangered uh, <laughs> West African mahogany. Oh, yeah. is just no longer sick like it was when we first rolled up here so we're gonna go to another spot there's enough space at that spot where you can get light all right we're heading to the next spot this is a good one light got kind of harsh so we're gonna go to another spot where we can put all three cars shoot them <laughs> Take a photo of this, just like this. This would be so sick if there wasn't like <laughs> political signs everywhere. Look at photo spot. Lots of trees. These houses are gorgeous Ooh, too. Dude, normally I wouldn't want to shoot cars like on the side of a street in a neighborhood, but this is actually like. Look at the fucking toads, dude. Dude, that's insane. How is that real? Is it real? I don't know. It looks pretty real to me. That's a real mushroom. Wow. I don't want to like boot it or anything because it's so like beautiful looking. Look at that. are so cool thanks i think they're original speakers but someone put an led strip in so they light up and then i just wired them into the factory lights they're, they're okay 
Oh yeah. I can only listen to the radio, so. <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> right. Okay, I guess that's a wrap. Just that was a like, quick one. Yeah, it was a quick one, but it was a really nice day. You know, it's always fun to get over to the island and see what our friends are up to over here. And I think being able to get the Budokatsu and the Budame together at the same time in all those cool locations is like such a rare treat. Yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. Thank you for supporting Checkpoint. Also, we have a huge back catalog of videos as well. So if this is your first time watching a Checkpoint video and you liked what you saw, we've got like, I don't know, 100, 150 videos. We've been doing these weekly for like a few years. so. You could just check it out. I mean, obviously it won't be current, but there's lots of really cool videos and things to learn and cool cars to see. And thank you guys so much. Go check out our store. We still have a ton of inventory from our last drop. That's www.shopcheckpoint.com. Uh, we got a little bit of everything from branded goods to all the different parts that you need to style up your car and tons of different genres of cars are supported there as well. So yeah, thanks for watching the video guys. We'll see you next week. Boom.